Because when you with, with your family, wife and kids or whatever, you do lose to t- testosterone. That's just biologically. You, you become less virile. So what he was saying, trying to agree and disagree at the same time, he leaves his wife and goes and gets with his guys and go downstairs and kicks and punches and, and fights and spars and shit. So from a fighting standpoint, we will lose our fighting edge if we're just around a woman all the time and not being around males and it, just a male. And so I do understand with that, but when it comes to success, no, I totally disagree with him on that. I'm going to just tell you how, how I put it. I mean, I didn't watch the whole video and from the clip that I, that I, I saw. I was, clip. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going off the clip. Basically like when, a, when a woman enters your life, um, there are certain men that may slow down. Or they may not get, get, or they may not do as much as they was doing when the woman entered their life. So I was speaking at it from that perspective. And what Anton said was with context. I, I said I probably said that doesn't matter the context. You are you be, do you become a little bit more balanced? No, you- I think no, 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 no. I mean, now that Jr. has added yeah. where he's spinning it for that question, um, I think that he is right though. Cause it is a lot of guys that get, get normal. Like they get complacent. They get complacent. They get chill. They don't even do the same things when it comes to the relationship anymore. Right. When you out there and you supposedly dating or whatever, you put your best foot forward and whatever, which is one of the reasons why I say you don't even supposed to start dating until you get married, because that's the, that's when you're supposed to put the effort in. That's when you're supposed to hustle. That's when you're supposed to grind. That's when you're supposed to come to bed smelling good. That's when you're supposed to keep your head shaved. That's when you're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Be always I, trying I, to make I, sure that you get your... It's a lot of people that... I mean, but this can go both ways. I know I, we're talking about a man, but a lot of women, and we just had this conversation, they be chilling, they be looking like a bag of bricks, they come come to bed with the bonnet on because they feel like, oh, I got him now, or why do I have to keep trying and putting in all of this effort and stuff like that? People do get complacent. I know they were talking about men specifically, but people do get complacent when they do when they get too comfortable in a relationship. Let me, ask, true. let me ask you a question. I, I and yes, we do know men that can slow down, but are do those men who you have seen slow down? And when I say slow down, I'm not talking about like they want different things in life. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking. Uh, I'm saying slow down, as in like they pretty much go to the grave. Like when I say go to the grave, in other words, they don't do nothing. Those type of men don't be knowing their purpose in life, though. I, it's a lot of married men that don't know purpose, that they don't know their purpose in life. But the men that I identify that I'm talking about, the ones who know their purpose in life, bro, they 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 they, they all they keep they moving. Yes, they yeah, might like, they might like different things. Yes, they might be like I'm bringing my wife with me. Yeah, I might they they might do all of that. However. They still focus on the mission and they have not slowed down for the mission at all. Hold on, hold on, Ali. I do want to speak on this real quick too because um, on the outside looking in, it may appear that they are reaching their peak. You know, they are, I mean, just look at us on the panel, right? If you look at us on the panel, it may appear that we all successful. We get into the bag, everybody's thriving. But inside the home and, and from the inside, from the outside looking, well, from the inside looking out, you're like, I'm not doing as much as I can do. So th- there are some times where if there's a woman in the house that he might slow down a little bit. I mean, he's still producing. And from everybody's looking on the outside, he could be winning. I know I'm frozen. He could be winning, but that might not be the case. So it's going to be up to that man to really realize if he needs to put a little bit more effort in and still chase the goals and the dreams as though she wasn't there, if that makes sense. Yeah, you have to you have to know your your partner, too, because if you know that, you know, you both have um, or if you know that, you know, your man has this goal and, you know, he's striving towards something as a woman, you have to also say, like, you know, you still need to get your work done. And, you know, we can't be doing X, Y and Z and always, you know, doing Netflix and chill and things like that. So even as a woman, you have to understand that. You have to know that that's 
you you know that may happen in the relationship and you both have that understanding where you're coming to the table saying all right we're gonna have to schedule this we're gonna have to schedule this we're gonna have to schedule this so that the work can get done and precious hey, uh, precious that's a good uh, that's yeah. a good uh talk for the women yeah uh, but yeah but as a as a man you have yeah. to understand exactly what's going you have to understand that that's happening you have yeah. to understand mm-hmm. that you can't mm-hmm. allow that to happen you got to understand what that woman is actually doing because women may require a lot of time from you, but if it's taken away from the business and if it's taken away from the bag, then that's when you got to say, Hey, I can't, I can't talk right now. I got to, you know, I'm slacking. I got to do this. So it's important for men to be able to recognize that whether the woman is there or not. And a lot of times when women come in into the circle, they get comfortable because some women require time, but if things fail, if that money ain't coming in, if, if the shit ain't fucking happening, guess what? She's going to look at you like you ain't on your shit. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. You can't blame her. It's going to be still following you at the end of the day. Yeah. JR, and, but yep. JR, and you right. This is Now, this is the part that I do agree with, Andrew, not from that clip. We are talking about from that clip. Everybody say it's a different context to it. Cool. I didn't get the different context. I'm only talking about that clip. That's why the brotherhood, your circle, is definitely important. Because that's what we going to do is hold each other up as crutches and you went and it's competitive and that competitive spirit amongst each other, what keeps us driving, you see, and if you are, are, got a circle of men that's on a purpose and living a purpose in life, you always going to continue on excelling and the whole group is going to be excelling, constantly growing and constantly pushing and, and competing, you know, at the end of the day. So yeah, pressures, you're right hearing a woman, uh, uh, but it still doesn't, it doesn't move us the way how that brotherhood, that circle would definitely continue on drive us and push us. I'm glad you said that because, uh, because a man really in reality, a man really in reality, isn't competing. A real man is not competing with his woman. Well, I'm, gl- I'm glad you said about something about the circle and how everybody put it in different contexts. Cause I kind of, my mind went totally somewhere else with it. Maybe because it was in the gutter a little bit, but you always thinking about the, ass bruising. <laughs> no, man. But what I'm saying is, what? I'm glad. The reason why I say I'm glad you I, you mentioned circles because the circle I ran I with. How you before, got ass out of that conversation? Before, <laughs> before I got with my wife and start, you know, like the type of says, living with a woman. I couldn't, like Andrew Tay said, I couldn't go back to, you know, the guys that I, you know had a strengthened edge or some particular edge with and and for me to be nece- for me to necessarily keep that edge sharp to be able to repetitively be able to on a consistent basis be or occasionally be able to go back and hang out with those guys because those guys wasn't uh on the same path as me you know I had to cut uh my attention and my time off with them because the things that they were doing you know I couldn't do that no more because I was married 